Well, good morning, fellas. Uh, another day down in the shop, just getting started. It's a beautiful, jeez, what a beautiful day it is outside. Um, I wanted to uh, show you. I got the uh, I got the Revo, my new Revo upgrade, uh, all back together and running great. Except uh, for some reason. Um, I can't keep this Robinson Racing spur gear uh, installed. I've tried different nuts. I, I I tried it all. It just keeps blowing up. I that one's got me baffled. So, anyways, that's shelved right now. I got a paint job that's going on here. My buddy Sue, uh, the kid that we picked up the uh, a regular three point three from. Off a guy from uh, the form started running, uh, cutting out at high speeds, and it was eating glow plugs like to an ungodly amount. So, anyways, I had it's been sitting most of the winter. We really didn't run. He didn't run it over the winter too too much. Earlier in the sport we did, but I took it apart yesterday. And the dome here was all pitted up, um, and I kind of thought maybe that was, I polished it, uh, got it back together, it was running okay, still had the high speed bug. Um, then during the course of the day yesterday, uh, I had been hearing this funky noise, he still had reverse in it and everything. And I was hearing some type of a rattling noise going on in the training. And I told him, I said, Soup, you know, we're going to have to get into that training pretty soon and get rid of reverse, you know. He was new with it and enjoyed the reverse thing. Um, but, like, you know, after every, after a little while, you realize that going forward faster is better. But, but anyways, here's what, after I tore it apart, I found uh, our little reason for the high speed bog and probably the the cause of the um, piston failures as little pieces of this um, busted up uh, piston here was probably rifling through the system and every time one would break off or whatever it would probably go up and um, you know, get in contact, make it was pitting the top of that and making contact with the glow plug and crapping out another plug. But I know you really can't see down in here that good, but the inside of the sleeve in the top of the piston actually don't look bad compared, you know, you know, considering that this thing is, is so detonated. Um, so uh the easy start we took crack this open the easy start had been acting up and that gouge and everything is right at where the exhaust is I'm not really sure what uh got into that and has been eating away at that if it was just the the header just constantly chewing away at it or whatever but I'm not an easy start. I'm a pull stock guy. Uh, I got easy starts all over the place in boxes. So this was, that's where that goes and that's where that belongs. All right, so I had a brand spanking new 3.3 um, here. That was a bump box version. So we, uh, I took out last night. Uh, I took the, had to take the crank out of Soup's motor, which was in good shape, and put it in this so we could get a starter on it. So it wasn't, a, you know, so it wasn't a bump only motor. Got it back together, started on the second pull, tuned it. I got a tank, almost two tanks through it last night. Uh, heat cycling in here, and it's going to go outside today to get running. So she's uh. We'll see how that goes today. I um I got it. Look at 
he had picked up some uh, integer arms for it, and it's a good thing because uh, since he got into it, he's, we've already burned through all my spare, used up all my spare parts on it because he kept hitting stuff. And, um, and then yesterday, I finally got the thing running good, and I ran into my tractor out in the yard and broke an arm. But uh, the, other pro the other project here that I want to show you going on is um, I'm so... I was just so sick of uh, breaking the parts and stuff on the uh, King that I, I picked up a um, a 5T front, basically, you know, I, the, I got the RPM arms, it's all, I got, I got it all in pieces, the bulkhead, the whole front clip from a 5, regular 5 uh, T or, or B. I actually, I actually use a T version because it's going to be a truck when it's done. Um, and I was going to fit it in. This this KM chassis is a little different than the than a regular stock chassis. Uh, mainly the, the the steering's wider. Uh, so if I wanted to use this, I would have to cut this, cut the the width, cut the length, um, drill new holes in it, which I could do very easily, but. I don't want to completely put this King chassis in the four wheel drive version of this to bed because maybe someday they will come out with uh, replacement parts um, that will that will hold up. But I am just so aggravated with uh, with this thing and breaking over nothing. Uh, I mean, having to. Having to do shit like this to parts so that you can just drive around and in in a friggin' circle and make sure that you don't hit any bumps and if you look down inside there, look, that carry is busted. Um and I got it on the last one, I got the last crash on video. This thing it Whatever. I ain't sitting here going to bash King. But they should have spent 79 cents and in invest in just a little bit of a better grade plastic. I mean, I'm not asking for RPM. I'm just asking for at least stock HPI grade plastic. Something that can take a hit. You know, I was going to... Um, it didn't work. One of my ideas was, and I got all the stuff too. I got a set of front. I got a whole five. My Lozy. I got Lozy arms, uh, Lozy carriers, uh, and spindle set. Because I was actually going to try to turn that into a with a Lozy front end. Um, and then I just got uh, that. That wasn't going. That didn't prove out to work out correctly either. Um, Bulkhead issues, different, just two, two different. So at least I got spare parts for my five. Um, but anyways, there. Uh, just to catch up, I haven't, uh, hadn't caught up with you guys. The place looks like it's been bombing off down here, but that's how it gets. But uh, I will get some outside video uh, later of that thing going. The uh, the five is simply sick fun it's just so much fun some people ask me the guy at the hobby shop says why are you mucking around with this thing when you got a five and um, and I didn't really have a really good answer for him except for the fact that this was my first five, fifth scale and it's I mean I got the big I get I rebuilt that motor it's got a, the big bore 30 cc in it the thing goes like a mother so I figured Going uh, the two wheel drive truck. I don't have any two wheel drive big trucks. Um, I thought that you know it would be fun. So, anyways, I got a bunch of stuff coming um, to complete it. Like the right, I got these pins aren't these aren't the right pins. I got the right hinge pins coming today. Um, uh, let's see a few other things. Oh. Gonna play swap around server for whatever my high tech servo in here decided to crap crap the bed on me. Um, I took it apart.